Every video needs at least one shot of Gav in it. So Perry's been working his little fingers off trying to get this wiring loom and he's yelling and abusing it now. Nice wiring loom. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here at the moment, but we've got the fuel system in. It's a basic fuel system using the factory fuel lines. Got a six litre Holden fuel filter there. The Mark's four wheel drive regulator, which works with the deadhead system here, which for all those people who don't know what a deadhead system is, it's a rail that has one inlet, not an inlet and an outlet with a circulating system. A lot of cars have goes in one end, comes out the other end with a regulator there, then goes back to the tank. This one has one in from the tank through the filter, goes to the regulator, sends a set pressure off to the engine here, to the rail, and then feeds the rest back to the tank. There's some progress there. On this here, added a bit of Car builders here to where that's all been plated up so that's all nice and neat now. I'm just looking at options for extending that console all the way to the dash there. I'm sort of like a little tray or something like that in there and it'll make it look a little factory and nice but I uh, haven't got that point yet but if anything I can do that afterwards because now the console bit is uh, off the of powder coating we can still get it all in running and everything and then worry about the cover afterwards. Uh, aside from that the main other thing is the instrument cluster is back in and all plugged in and stuff like that and really all we've got to do before we put all that back together is I'm going to replace the head unit because it's way out of date and the reverse camera was terrible is to run the wire across the dash for the uh, fly-by-wire throttle or accelerator pedal and also mount the uh, OBD plug and stuff like that so um, there's that but when Perry's got a second, we're going to do an unboxing. Perry likes unboxing stuff. I do. What's that? What's this here, Perry? Uh, that's a radiator. And what do radiators need? Uh, fans. Ah, oh, those are fans. You get something sharp, apart from your wit. A lot of people know me as being really reasonably sarcastic. What do we got? What do we got? Cardboard. We got a box of cardboard. Oh look. Transmission oil cooler. From our friends at Davies Craig. Thank you, John and Alex and the team there. So this one here is for the power steering, which is going to be running power steering and also the Mark Four wheel drive hydraulic brake booster. So we're going to add a cooler to that. This one here is for the 6L80 trans with a fan on it. Very cool. No pun intended. Pun intended. A couple of fan switches and then two of the big high performance uh, fans there. And the 14 inch ones. So, all going to plan. These two fans are going to fit into the shroud that I have. Feel the power! Okay, greetings from the Hoon TV, and it's not really the Hoon TV, but the AU Falcon Ute of Fury. I'm off to do some work with an awesome guy by the name of Mark. He runs a place called APM. He is a total Land Cruiser head. Uh, not really doing a lot of the build stuff, but he's been pretty good for advice because uh, he's done a few LS conversions and different diesel upgrades and engine swaps and stuff like that. Meanwhile, there goes a pretty cool lady going past now with the aftermarket headlights in it. That's nice. I think that's the one with the LS in it, actually. Anyhow, one thing he specializes in, apart from doing a whole lot of mechanical stuff and full drives, is uh, they are a radiator repair place. So. Um, He's going to be helping me out with the radiator to uh, A, just give it a service. 
I've uh, shown him what I've been doing with the uh, the fans. What we've um, done this week is taken a set of VE Commodore fans. I'm here now, and cut the actual whole housing out. I'll have a footage over the top of this. Cut the whole housing out, and then dropped in some Davies Craig high performance fans. And the crazy thing is, is that you notice straight away the size of the motor on the Davies Craig fan is huge compared to the Holden one. I'm pretty happy with the result. Once we sort of fill in the gaps around the radiator with some strip and stuff like that, it should all work really nicely and, and work with the computer in the car. But now I'm gonna go in here, stick a camera in Mark's face, give him a Hoon TV sticker and um, see how we go. Look, it's an 80 with no back on it. Chop, chop. Look, there's Mark's car. Good man. There you go, this is the guy here. Look at that beard. Perfect. Bit of foam, bit of cutting, some pot rivets. Square to black. Bit of radiator, a bit of a birthday. Look like a bought one. Hmm. Yeah, show us your model. Grab that and have a look at it. When mine's broken and off the road, I can play with this one. It's been sitting there. Look at the flex in it. It's a bit dirty, man. Yeah, no. yeah, it's how I look after my car, too. <laughs> I need to leave it out in the rain. It's, it's quite cool because there's this one here, and then there's a white 80s behind it on the hoist. And then there's your monster out there. 80 series mad. We're an 80 series family, mate. Nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. I'm here at APM to do the radiator or film the radiator getting done. But priorities, priorities come first, and that is coffee. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Lucky! Hey. How are you, buddy? There Good to is. see you. Sights and sounds of Lonsdale, mate. What's going on here? Look at that. Ew. We got the fats on that. <laughs> Pro 67. Big tyres on that, mother. Love your work, Mark. Look at that, steaming hot. Oh, you need a coffee, mate. <laughs> Desperate need for a Monday, mate. <laughs> <laughs>
happy? All good? All good. So what have we done? Here, give us a rundown. So that, starting from when the radiator came in. All right, so the radiator's been cleaned out. Removed the top tank, rod each tube. It's flowing 100% now. Um, Resoldered it back together. Doesn't leak. Excellent. And fans. And how do you reckon these Davies Craig fans will go? Foam on the inside of the fan shroud. It'll have an excellent seal. It's going to pull some air right where we need it to. And they'll certainly keep it cool enough. Yeah. Now it's just clean it up and paint it. Okay, so I'm just here messing around just getting the last of the wiring done for the fans. But speaking of fans, if you're a footy fan, that was a really bad segue. It's going to cruise over here because there's a dude that's just rocked up that we had on the Hoonatics not long ago. And it's definitely not Mike. That's Mike there. Mike's now famous on Hoon TV. There's Gav. Gav's always on Hoon TV. Yeah. He's got something wrong with him apparently. I felt some breeze. Stop f***ing following me! Let's <laughs> go. So hang on, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Where are we and uh, what are you doing to your truck? And, and where can people see the rest of the build on it? Um, well, the build's on my YouTube channel. It's just under my name at the moment. Um, here at Tough Mounts with Jace. And um, they're going to sort me out with some uh, mounts. I've said, I don't care what you do to it. Just throw that engine in there. And so it's a 67. We're, uh, yeah, going to put a Coyote supercharged 5 litre in it. And um, barbs. Yeah, and these blokes want to put tubs in it. I don't know. Well, I, don't, I don't know, but there seems to be enough room in there, doesn't there, Gab? There's room in the back here. Plenty of room. I mean, all I really want, to, want it for is carrying my dogs around, so I suppose it's going to make that a little bit wider. I mean, a couple of our stations in the back, maybe <laughs> Border Collie. <laughs> well, Golden Retriever and American Staffy. Yeah, I don't know. You get half the RSPCA in there. <laughs> But yeah, so that's the plan at the moment. And um, obviously I've just had a blast and you can see all the rust in it. And um, <coughs> yeah. It's a starting point. Starting point, hey, basically. Cletus, where should we put the uh, trailer plug? <laughs> if I'm home, just fill 15 holes. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I was wondering what the hell that oh, was, hey? It's moving a little to the left. <laughs> no, no, go back right. <laughs> Must have one eye or something. <laughs> but. Cool. It's going to be awesome. This is going to be a very cool car. So yeah, this is a Coyote supercharged engine out of an FG XR8. So pretty cool. You can see it all on Charlie's channel. We caught up with him on the Hunter not long ago, but um, yeah, it's good to find him and see what he's up to and look up to him because he's about seven foot ten tall. But uh, yeah, check his channel out. What's the go here? What is this? This one is a um, customer's car. We've just done uh, a replica of the Nations Cup Monaro, which is the 427 Monaro race at Bathurst and a few other areas. The car's just come back from wrapping to be looking like this. It's a quite a nasty LS2 in it, six-speed manual, waiting on the front wheels to arrive so we can get the rear wheel look. We've just got to now mount the front bar, side skirts, wing, do the bonnet fasteners and cut other little touches and out the door she goes next week. Cool looking thing. Meanwhile, if you're wondering what was happening with this, we did do some video on this on Hoon TV before, and uh, there's a little bit of a pause on it just because the car was off getting a whole ton of work done to it. But uh, watch this space because the uh, Fox Steak Barra Mustang here is going to be getting some serious work done to it pretty soon. So, this is a pretty awesome car, and the work done to this is a really nice. Um, the lads over in Melbourne have done some pretty trick fab work to it and then obviously the guys here will do all their finishing stuff here but um, it's going to be a very nice bit of gear. Why 
the front bumper is a different colour yellow because that's not the bumper that's staying on it. So it's got the uh, the race car bumper to go on it which matches and these are the side skirts next to a very special race car that we'll talk to you about later. Actually there's lots of cool stuff happening at Tough Mounts at the moment. There is lots of cool stuff I've, actually isn't there? I've got that in the video a bit earlier. Which? That, oh that one. That. But and over on the hoist there, oh. quickly show us that 30 seconds. No, 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 not that hoist, that hoist. One on the ground with a wing on that it. That one? One with a wing on it. Wing. Oh, I fly away. Wing, yeah. <laughs> wing, wing. Um, over here we have uh, original Gibson Motorsport, the YVZ V8 supercar. Um, originally a VX strut car uh, with the Kmart livery on this one. Uh, it's gone through a few owners and it's currently sitting here um, about to go up for sale. So if anyone wants to spend some money, it's quite a cheap V8 supercar actually. Yeah, it's cool. It's pretty cool. It is real cool. So it's Friday afternoon, just showing you a bunch of other stuff, but the main reason I'm doing this video is because of the Land Cruiser. So I'm gonna give you my weekly wrap up. I was kind of hoping to have the car running in this video, but just been waiting on a few little bits and pieces and plus like I mentioned in the past before even before the thing was even wired up was never really wanted to rush anything because you're gonna f stuff up if you rush it and you're gonna regret it so they'll just spin around and show you a bit of what's going on and then hopefully and I'll try and promise this the next video it'll be making loud noises so I think Jason's pretty keen to hear it start too not very exciting but um, in the dash here because the factory voltmeter in the dash is pretty basic, I've added a little Nava voltmeter here, which is just where there's basically a nothing anyway in the dash. Uh, right now I'm just working out, I've put a bung, which we uh, filmed before getting done in the trans pan for this autometer trans temperature gauge. Just a basic one, but um, this was uh, actually purchased through Burson, which is awesome. So they bought it in for me. Uh, just trying to work out where the best place to put it is because I want it in a spot where it's going to be easy to see but it's not going to block anything or sit in front of heat events and stuff like that so if anything if there's any other 80 series people watching at the moment and you've done external gauges i'm not really too keen on putting it on the pillar i know people do that but um if you've done any external gauges um, maybe just hit me up in the comments or on the facebook page or something like that just to show me what you've done um, i'll post this on the 80 series groups as well because um lots of great modifications on there too and it has been awesome being part of those groups because um, so many uh, people with info on what they've done in the past with conversions, whether it be these or 1FZ turbos and stuff like that. That there is a banana, which is one of those bananas where you sort of decide whether it's still good to eat or not. I bought it in yesterday. Is it uh, edible or is that future banana bread? Post your comment below. Should I eat the banana? Anyway, we'll go around here. Gotta slam it down hard. I have a mountain of Newlon products here. When I say mountain, like it's like five million liters of fluid here, thanks to Newlon and Burson. For this, uh, everything in there, the easy squeeze ones, which I showed you at the shop last time, and we've got uh, additives, racing oil for the engine, coolant, the diff oil, the whole deal. So that will be going in very soon, probably on Monday. Uh, inside this side of the dash is pretty dark in here sorry this side of the dash is all back together clusters in that's sort of almost finished but around the front I'm gonna try not to trip over everything here I have from Davies Craig a monstrous big trans cooler there with a fan on it that fans just wired in series with the other two on a separate relay and then over here a power steering cooler and that's to help with the brake hydraulic booster there but uh, in the engine bay um, it's all coming together uh, gonna be replacing that blue silicon with black but um, I'll uh, be doing some stuff on the airbox next week got something cool I'm gonna try with that hopefully it works but uh, engines pretty much all wired up um, battery terminals just disconnected at the moment but um, got all that in there everything's all sorted with the fuel system 
We did uh, turn on the ignition and primed it all up and everything seems to be looking pretty good, so happy there. Next uh, step after this, um, probably after starting it up, is to um, sort out the power steering lines and the air conditioner lines. I've got a full Mark's full drive hose kit coming next week. Hopefully that'll come on Monday and that's that's sort of so what's holding us back from starting it. We could probably start it and run it for 30 seconds or something like that, but to be honest, I'd rather just fill the thing up with coolant and do it all once and start it and check for leaks and then if nothing's leaking then we can just let the thing idle so looking forward to doing all that so close to firing up all right so there you have it uh, basically that's week however many now um, started the build in october it's now may so for a full car build without sort of going full underside and everything like that it's come together pretty quickly i've um, been pretty lucky to have some excellent people helping out with the build so far and yeah, it uh, wouldn't happen without them and also definitely wouldn't happen without Burst and all the other awesome sponsors as well. So uh, it's a really rewarding thing building a car and, and fun doing it as well and you should do it yourself. But um, yeah, thanks to everyone watching these videos. I always say it and I'll keep saying it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell and tune in because I'm going to try and have another video up next week as well once a week and we'll have this thing running do the brakes all that other stuff and then get the thing on the road and engineered and drive it <laughs>